see you in court. That's what some people think Manchester will say to the government if the super casino plans are scrapped. It's expected that the government will finally kill off Manchester's super casino dream tomorrow. But the key question now is, what happens next? The super casino would have brought jobs and investment to one of the city's poorest areas. When he became Prime Minister, Gordon Brown ordered a review of the policy. This part of Manchester, East Manchester here, it's got one of the highest unemployment rates in the country. 3,000 jobs were promised with the super casino. It doesn't look like the super casino is going to go ahead at all. Uh, but we're still hoping that uh, the jobs will be online. If believed, Manchester City Council will launch a legal challenge to recover the money it has lost during the Super Casino bid, and legal action has the support of opposition parties. Our legal advice, the council's legal advice, is that the, the government can't do this. They can't say the 16 small ones can go ahead, but the big one can't. They'd need primary legislation. Now, I think I'd much prefer the government listen to common sense and go ahead with the Super casino. Manchester won it fair and square but if they won't listen to common sense perhaps they'll listen to our lawyers. If we get nothing in return then I think, I think legal action, judicial review, which is being talked about, is the only course open to them, I think. Look, I know people have problems with casinos, but you can click a button on your computer and get online and play without any regulation. This would be the most regulated casino in the world, and what I'm saying is we need the jobs in East Manchester, and we need this investment, and it's a sad day when a Labour government pulls the plug. So it looks like the real super casino winners could be lawyers. David Henry, Channel M News.